Hi, I'm Gabby Bear. I'm sure glad you turned my magic button because now I can tell you a fun and exciting story. And at the same time, I'd like to be your very special friend. Every time you hear this tone, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook so you can read along with me. Right now, I'm gonna tell you a story full of adventure about a friend of mine, Mary Jo the cow. She's the sweetest, nicest cow in the whole countryside. She belongs to Farmer Grumbles. Are you ready for my story? Here goes. A fair had come to the small town nearby. Farmer Grumbles heard about it and decided he was going to sell one of his animals at the fair. All the animals were shocked when they heard who Grumbles was going to sell. Mary Jo the cow. Mary Jo was real popular with the other animals. You might say she is the mother of the farm. <laughs> she was always telling everyone, If anyone needs any help or advice, they can just come to me. I know where the band-aids are in the barn, and I know where Farmer Grumbles keeps the ice water in the summertime. Well, Farmer Grumbles wasn't interested in Mary Jo's good nature or popularity. He had made up his mind she was going to be sold at the fair. At the same time, he wanted to win the blue ribbon they were giving away for the prettiest cow. And Mary Jo was a sure winner. Farmer Grumbles was delighted about this. He told mean old bully goat. Yeah, I know I can win with Mary Jo. She's the biggest and prettiest cow around. A farmer of my stature deserves a blue ribbon and his picture in the paper. Luckily, Pristine the pig overheard Grumbles talking to Bully Goat. It broke her heart to hear what Grumbles had in mind. She wanted Mary Jo to stay on the farm. As fast as she could go, Pristine ran and told all the other animals what was going on. They all agreed Mary Jo should stay. After all, who would help them when they stubbed a toe or a hoof? Why, who would tell them where the cold water was on hot days? There was only one problem. The animals didn't know what to do to stop Farmer Grumbles from taking Mary Jo away. It was then Pristine came up with an idea everybody agreed with. She told the others, I know who can help us save Mary Jo, Gabby Bear and Willie Goat. <laughs> Pristine the pig snuck off of Grumbles' farm and made her way into the woods toward my place. Pristine had to creep her way through the dark forest and then cross the magical stream before she reached my old car home. And boy, was she disappointed when she discovered I wasn't there. Having no choice, Pristine began to search the forest around my home. She was running all the while and getting tired. But saving Mary Jo was the most important thing in the world to her. Well, just when Pristine was about to give up, she found Willie Goat and me in a patch of blueberries. <laughs> Willie and I were picking and eating every plump berry we could find. Pristine quickly told us about Mary Jo's predicament. Willie and I were surprised and saddened to think that Mary Jo would no longer be part of Grumble's farm. But what could we do? Mary Jo does belong to Farmer Grumble's. Pristine the pig exclaimed, Gabby Bear, Mary Jo wants to stay on the farm. After all, she does have rights. All we have to do is stall Farmer Grumbles until it's too late for him to take Mary Jo to the fair. Pristine told us Farmer Grumbles had to be at the fair by 12 o'clock noon or he couldn't enter Mary Jo in the contest and sell her. The more I thought about it, the more it sounded like a good idea to make old Grumbles late for the fair. Willie Goat agreed when he said, Gabby, it's a good idea. Mary Jo is my friend, too. Besides, Farmer Grumbles doesn't deserve to win a blue ribbon. He's too grumpy. Willie and I gobbled up the last of our blueberries so we'd have plenty of energy to make Farmer Grumbles late. <laughs> Pristine the pig ate some, too, and she ate so fast she had a blue mustache under her nose. The three of us headed out for Grumble's farm. Willie, Pristine, and I snuck onto Farmer Grumble's place, 
careful not to be seen. Grumbles had his pickup truck parked near his house. Mary Jo, wearing a very sad face, was standing in the back of the truck. Bully Goat was sitting in the passenger side of the truck. He had a big smarty pants grin on his face. He was always jealous of Mary Jo, and now he was glad she was going. Guess he thought with Mary Jo gone, he'd be the big cheese around the farm. Willie and I chuckled about this. We noticed that Farmer Grumbles was not around, so I knew it was time to make a move. It was getting close to 12 o'clock, time for Grumbles to leave for the fair. Worried, Willie said to me, We've got to beat the clock, Gabby Bear. I want to make sure that mean old bully goat remains a little cheese around here. Willie, Pristine, and I snuck to the rear of Grumble's truck. Bully Goat didn't notice us, but Mary Jo did. She was so happy to see us, she started to let out a loud moo. I quickly put my hand over her mouth. Mary Jo got my message and decided mooing was not a good idea with Bully Goat sitting in the truck. Using his rainbow horn, Willie carefully unlatched the tail of Grumble's truck, and Mary Jo didn't need anyone to tell her to jump right out onto the ground, quietly. <laughs> All the time this was going on, Bully Goat just sat looking straight ahead, unaware that we were around. Willie Goat, Pristine, Mary Jo, and I ran to the open pasture where Mary Jo lived. Mary Jo was so happy, she gave out a soft moo. She told me, Oh, Gabby Bear, it's so good to see you. I give you a big kiss, but I don't think it's proper for gals to kiss bears. <laughs> we all laughed about this, and as far as I was concerned, Mary Jo could kiss me anytime. Well, Farmer Grumbles came walking out of his house and moved to his truck and found Mary Jo gone. Disgusted, he hollered at Bully Goat. Bully Goat, what's the matter with you? Mary Jo is gone, and you were supposed to be watching her. <laughs> Willie, pristine Mary Jo and I laughed, watching Bully Goat catch it. Farmer Grumbles and Bully Goat went searching for Mary Jo, and pristine and Willie hid out by the silo. Meanwhile, I snuck back near the truck. I had to do one more thing in order to make sure Farmer Grumbles couldn't get off the farm and make it to the fair on time. Farmer Grumbles found Mary Jo. He brought her back to the truck with a rope around her neck. That's when he found something that made his ears twitch. All four of his truck tires were flat. That's right, flat as pancakes. He and Bully Goat marched around the pickup, looking at each tire, mad as they could be. Farmer Grumbles told Bully Goat in short terms, Will I get my hands on whoever did this? I'll make them clean my barn with a toothbrush. Well, Farmer Grumbles went to work and began to fix his tires. He jacked up the old truck, and one at a time, he began to patch the tires. Now, Willie Goat, Christine the Pig and myself were watching all this from behind the corner of the silo. <laughs> Have you figured out who let the air out of Grumble's tires? It was about then Willie Goat became worried and said to me, Gabby, Farmer Grumbles is working pretty fast on those tires. He could get done in time to take Mary Jo to the fair. Well, Willie was right. I knew we were going to have to think of something else to stall him. It was then that I noticed we were standing by the silo grain chute. Now, most silos on farms are filled with grain or corn, but Grumbles, being a little different than most farmers, had his filled with carrots. <laughs> Willie, Pristine, and I decided we could create a carrot roadblock to stop Farmer Grumbles from getting to the fair. With his rainbow horn, Willie pulled the latch on the chute door, and like an avalanche, out came the carrots by the hundreds. Carrots flowed out onto the barnyard and all around Grumbles and his truck. <laughs> Pristine
Jean the pig couldn't help but giggle when she exclaimed to me. Why, Gabby, it's Rabbit Heaven on Grumble's farm. <laughs> Pristine was right. It wasn't long before old Grumbles and Bully Goat were up to their noses in carrots. Mary Jo the cow was smiling from ear to ear. She knew as long as Grumbles couldn't drive his truck away, she was safe from being taken to the county fair. Suddenly, and to make Grumbles even more angry, dozens of rabbits came running out of the nearby forest and began to munch away on Farmer Grumbles' carrots. Farmer Grumbles was beside himself when he saw him. He yelled out, You long-eared carrot crazy rascals! Get away from my carrots or I'll make good luck charms out of every one of you! Well, the rabbits ran off all right, each with a carrot in his mouth, of course. <laughs> Farmer Grumbles finally got all the carrots loaded back into the silo, his tires fixed, and was ready to take Mary Jo the cow to the fairgrounds. It was then that Pristine the pig snuck to Farmer Grumbles' kitchen window and looked in at Grumbles' kitchen clock. She then said to me, Gabby, old Grumble still has enough time to take Mary Jo to the fair by 12 o'clock. We've got to do something else to stall Farmer Grumbles. I thought about this for a moment, then came up with a super duper idea. I told Willie and Pristine to follow me to the irrigation pipes near the cornfield. We all snuck along a fence and made our way to the huge faucet that controlled the water for the cornfield. Just then, we heard Grumble start his truck. We looked through the cornstalks and saw him driving Mary Jo from the farm. Willie and Christine jumped up and down, telling me whatever my plan was, it better be a fast one. So I began to turn the big faucet on the water irrigation pipes. In an instant, there was a genuine grade A river of water pouring out of the pipe. Willie was wide-eyed when he said, Holy moly, Gabby! There's more water coming out of there than what's in a fire hydrant. We'll be able to call this place Grumble's Ocean. <laughs> well, maybe not an ocean, but there was plenty of water flowing everywhere. Farmer Grumble saw it and stopped his pickup fast. He and Bully Goat jumped out of the truck and ran toward the cornfield. Just as they got there, they both tripped on an old pile of boards Grumbles had laying by the cornfield. Normally, the two of them would have hit the ground, but since there were gushes of water pouring in all directions, the boards began to float and skim the water just like surfboards. Grumbles and Bully Goat each wound up standing on a board as the boards picked up speed flowing with the water current. <laughs> Why, for all practical purposes, Grumbles and Bully were surfing right through the cornfield. Willie Goat and Pristine the Pig laughed so hard they fell over, and Pristine summed up the situation best when she said, Can you imagine that? <laughs> Grumpy old Grumbles being a beach boy. Well, Pristine the Pig checked the time for me again, and we discovered we still had a little time left before Mary Jo could be saved from the fair. It was then Willie came up with an idea. He excitedly told me, Since all the animals on the farm want to save Mary Jo the cow, maybe they can help us keep Grumbles on the farm. I agreed with Willie Goat. So, Pristine the Pig, Willie and I told all the farm animals we needed their help, and they were more than glad to help Mary Jo. They said they needed Willie, Pristine, and I to distract Farmer Grumbles so they could get to work. We had to show ourselves to Grumbles. <laughs> that was okay with us, but I knew when Grumbles saw us, he'd probably want to wring our necks. I made the first move by sticking my head over the cow fence where Farmer Grumbles could see me. Then, right beside me, Willie popped up his head and made a face at Farmer Grumbles. <laughs> Grumbles' eyes almost bugged right out of his head. His face turned red as his overalls. I thought his whiskers were going to fly off. <laughs> well, as you probably guessed, Grumbles jumped into his truck and chased us as fast as he could go. I ran in one direction, Willie Goat ran in the other. 
Rumbles decided to chase Willie first, so he drove right after him into the cow pasture. It didn't take long before all the cows in the pasture started running after Grumble's pickup. Farmer Grumble swerved left, then right, in an effort to dodge the animals. Soon, all the pigs and goats joined in with the cows and began to chase Grumble's around the pasture. <laughs> Grumble's was totally confused. He didn't know which way to turn his truck. Mary Jo was in the back of the truck, having the ride of her life. While the commotion was going on, Willie jumped a fence and hid out with me, watching the wild chase in the pasture. Finally, Farmer Grumbles came to a halt and looked at his watch, realizing it was too late to take Mary Jo to the county fair to sell her. So he let Mary Jo out of the back of the truck and onto the field to join her friends. After all he'd been through, Grumble scratched his beard and said, Gabby Bear, I'm going to get you and Willie Goat for this. You've ruined my day, because now I can't sell Mary Jo. Farmer Grumbles was really upset. He decided to go back to his house and make a watermelon pie to cool off. As he walked toward the house, he grumbled at Bully Goat. Bully Goat, this is all your fault. You let Mary Jo out of the truck in the first place, and for that, you don't get any watermelon pie. <laughs> Bully hung his head low, still befuddled by what had taken place on the farm. But Willie and I were happy about what had happened. In fact, I wrote a song about it. It went like this. Mary Jo is the greatest cow. We want her to be with us here and now. Mary Jo, she's a super gal. And we're all so glad that she's our pal. <laughs> well, that's my story about Mary Jo the cow. She got to stay on Farmer Grumble's farm. It made everybody real happy to hear her friendly moo and see her wag her tail all day. So it's goodbye for now. I hope you had a good time. I sure did. And remember, the next time you want to hear a fun and exciting story from Gabby Bear, <laughs> just turn my magic button. 